brought you into my studio this morning in order to show you the different keys of the Native American flutes that I make. I make flutes in the key of B all the way through the key of C, high B, low C. The high B flute, which you see lying here on this serape, is 18 and a half inches long. The C flute on the other end of the spectrum is 30 inches long. The B, as I said, is high. And the C, at the other end, is very low. There are uh, flutes in other keys than the ones that I make. Some people make them all the way from very little flutes like this that sound like little Tweety Birds, down to flutes that are, you know, four feet long and you have to play them from the side because you can't even reach your hands down in order to be able to get to the holes. Uh, these are in the, the mid-range and they're the common keys of flutes that people play. This B flute. A B would be a good flute for a child, seven years old. Uh, I started my kids on a B flute. Uh, as you can see, for an adult, the fingers are a little crowded together, but it's still very doable. And that's a B flute. The next key up the scale is this A flute. It's probably the most common flute for a starter flute for people. It, holes are nice and close together. You can easily cover them without having to stretch your fingers. So that's a nice little A flute. The next key that I make, and there's a, a G sharp between the A and the G. I don't make a G sharp. It's a very uncommon key, and there's no demand for it, so I don't really make them, except on special order sometimes. One thing about the different keys of the flutes is that most people consider that these flutes have a, the sound has a relationship to different parts of the human body and the different chakras, the different energy centers in the human body. Uh, the G flute that you just heard, the energy center is, is up here in the, perhaps in the throat area somewhere. And so when you play that, that fundamental, you can actually, when you are sensitive to it, you can actually feel where the flute, where the sound is in your body. This flute is a, um, an F sharp. That F sharp flute is considered to be in the heart chakra area of the body. It's the most common key of the Native American flute. The holes are relatively close together. see there's not a lot of difference between the G and the uh, F sharp and you notice that the holes become slightly farther apart as the keys go lower the flutes a little bit longer and the holes are a little farther apart which makes it a little bit more difficult for a beginner to play the F sharp than the G but as you can see, uh, maybe a quarter of an inch difference, nothing that presents an insurmountable barrier. The next flute key that I make is this F. And with the F, with the F flute, the size of the bore, this is the bore of the flute, the hollow section of the flute, goes from a 7 8 inch bore to a 1 inch bore. And this changes the quality of the sound. Even though the uh, it's only one step on the piano, one note on a piano, difference between the two, 
as you can determine by listening, I'll compare the two together. You get a bigger, rounder, fuller kind of a sound. Um, a little more meditative, a little more soothing type of a sound. When you start to get lower, the holes start to get farther apart. So the F sharp was a bit of a little a reach for the hands. Now you're getting an even even more of a reach with the F. But again, it's definitely within the range of the doable. From the F we go to the E. the body that the E is affecting is getting down here in the solar plexus where we're descending. The lower the note, the more we get down towards the, the root of the body. This flute is an E flat, also called a D sharp, and it's a rather unusual key, but a very interesting one. For me, the the scale in a uh, E flat food, flute uh, is very melancholy. It's, it's a very this is a very uh, almost a sad kind of a sound. a D and as you can see I'm going from a one inch bore to a one and an eighth inch bore now so this is an even wider board flute and a hollower sound you start to get into a feeling of oh I don't know you're uh, playing down a well see now we're talking about a pretty big flute here and on my fingers are you know making a, a good stretch in comparison for example to this F sharp you can see how the holes are really starting to you know become farther apart big one here a C and the C is demanding even for me now I've had to move the hole up the bore of the flute in order to make it possible to play this flute and when you move the hole up the board the hole has to become smaller so that creates a sometimes a bit of a drop off in the tonal volume between the fundamental note and the second note. Just a little bit here. This flute sounds pretty good. So anyhow, here you have it. Uh, a range of keys and a range of uh, sounds, of course. And uh, you can you know, start at one end, most people do, uh, with a G or an A. And then as your flexibility and your uh, sensitivity develops because the lower key flutes are harder to play than the upper key flutes. They just uh, a little more sensitive to breath uh, pressure. Um, of course the finger stretch is a little greater. So it's something that people usually graduate into as time goes by. I hope this has uh, helped you to gain a little bit more understanding about the, the different flutes and the different flute keys. Uh, 
I look forward to talking to you again sometime. Thank you.